Greenville? It has a, a rich heritage, a good family environment, a lot of friendly people, fun stuff to do. The atmosphere here is great. It's a good little town. It's peaceful. There are so many people in this community that give of themselves. This is a great little town. It just has a small town feel. This is our home and uh, you know, we're, we're involved in this community and uh, we love this community. It's close enough that if you want to go into the big city and go do things into the Dallas area, you can. Get that warm, country, welcoming feeling. That's why we're still here. What more can you say? Greenville is characterized by patriotic values and by a common sense approach to living. I'm Tom Oliver, Mayor of City of Greenville, and today I'm going to talk to you about Greenville's history and its rich heritage, much of which was fueled by the cotton industry years ago. In Greenville, we had many of our farms grew cotton, and it was the, uh, the crop, if you will, was uh, baled in the largest inland compress in the world, which happened to be located in Greenville. So monies from the cotton industry flowed to Greenville from the business leaders at the top of the market all the way to the sharecroppers such as World War II decorated hero Audie Murphy. Monies went into things like beautiful homes and buildings which you will see throughout the city. When I walk these streets I, I see the people here today but I also think of the ones who built the city that had a vision they had an aspiration, not to just have a little settlement, but to build a, a city with culture and uh, attractions. We could see that this was a community that was on the verge of doing some great things. I did move here from back east. However, my husband is a Texas native. And we had decided that, you know, we were at that stage in our lives where we could live almost anywhere we wanted to. And we uh, started looking around and discovered that Greenville was looking for someone to run their chamber. So before I sent in an application, did a little research, and we discovered its proximity to the Metroplex, which we liked because it was close, but it still wasn't part of the Metroplex. That it was a nice-sized community um, and had a whole lot of things to offer that frankly kind of surprised us, particularly culturally. We have a very historic city, a very old city, and yet we're right on the edge of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and the edge of scenic East Texas. So it gets a, a people a chance to come in from the city and get a taste of small town life, or it's a chance for the people east and south of here to find out they don't have to go all the way into Dallas to find some first rate entertainment. Today I'm seated in a 70-year-old municipal auditorium in the heart of Greenville, Texas. So much entertainment has taken place in this particular auditorium. Elvis Presley has performed here. Roy Orbison has performed here. We have, in entertainment in Greenville, we have a wide spectrum of entertainment to offer. Everything from Texas Hill Country based, Ray Wiley Hubbard, Billy Joe Shaver, to the Dallas Center. All of it has been in this auditorium. We do have this developing um, music venue, which is amazing. The Lee Street Bar and Grill opened last year. They have music uh, on a regular basis. They have both inside and outside. The Blue Armadillo is open Wednesday through Saturday. They always have music uh, every evening that they're open. They feature a lot of local artists. For one night a month, they have comedy night also, which is kind of nice. The new winery that's coming in is also going to have live music. There is the entertainment series. There is the Threadgill series. We also have a local physician who is also happens to be our state senator, Bob Duell. Bob Duell plays the drums and he performs at many benefit concerts throughout the year. Threadgill series has been great for the community. It's pretty money in the community for economic development. Songwriters plus management we have here tonight is just. Uh, uh, I travel all over Texas now, uh, and I see nothing like like that anywhere. You know, it's just one of those things. Great sound and the audience here, the people here. Just it's the sincerity of the people. You know, it's, it's a very warm town, and and and, and the audience is like is very knowledgeable and aware and appreciative. And God, they're just 
fun to play for us. It's just a righteous feeling to come up here and play it. You know, I love it. So you can find any type of entertainment that, that meets your requirements right here in Greenville, Texas. You'll enjoy it. You'll bring your family to it. You'll have a great time. We are justifiably becoming well known for uh, being a music city. We're not quite Austin, but Austin ought to look out, I think. <laughs>